Wait, is that a ghost? Oh, that is a ghost. Okay, then. It's upgrade time. Uh, so, in the last episode, I went to, um... Well... That's ghost aggro sounds. Whoa! Okay! And I got a load of resources. A couple of them actually being, like, nickel and crystal and sulfur, meaning I have a whole new upgrade thing. Like, in this, I can now build this one jump jet upgrade. I can build... Well, I can build that anyway. Uh, I want to build the grappling arm as well today. The I don't have the propulsion arm yet. I can actually build the prawn suit depth module mark one. Which is gonna be pretty good. Torpedoes are completely useless. I can get every upgrade for the sea moth uh, that I really want. Uh, I'm not sure about the depth modules though, and obviously these are just general modules. Um, the Cyclops, um, I they I you need the blueprints for them, and I don't actually know where you get half of them. So yeah, that's helpful. And also I wanna go put the egg that I found. Uh, in here, I may have already done it actually. Um, where is it on my cyclops? There it is, the unidentified creature egg, which I actually know what that is. That is a cuddlefish egg, and that is basically like the trivial gold in Below Zero. And if you don't know what that is, then um, that was kind of like my pet fish from this video. Um, it also got a radio message. Uh, okay. Helpful. That, uh, uh, well, I can actually make the Seamoth Mark III that might as well, actually. Uh, that's okay, we're not getting that anytime soon. Uh, I don't even know the ingredients for that. Uh, we could have a look into making some uh, Ultra Glide fins, maybe some sw Swim Charge fins I probably want to get. Um, Air tank for it got so that obviously already got the thermo blade. Um, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so bef just quickly before I do go and do whatever, I want to make a couple of upgrades first. So I want to make the prawn suit jump jet upgrade and probably the depth mark one. So we need nickel, two nickel, crystalline sulfur, five titanium, and some lithium. That is getting into the prawn suit. I wanted to take, open its storage. Very helpful. Hmm? There we go. Prawn suit jump jet upgrade. Let's see how actually good that thing is. Also, I'm, I might get an energy efficiency module. Maybe. Actually, I don't know. Not sure yet. I do actually have an empty space in here, which was meant to be for the depth module, but there we go. We now have the jump jet upgrade. And let me just show you what it really does for the start off with. Let me show you how good this is. Look at that. That is insane. Look at it. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. The jump is so much better now. Yes. So good. Okay. I'm getting sidetracked now. I need to make the depth module now since I have the blueprints for that as well. So we need a Plastilinga, which is uh -huh. uh, nickel ore and two ruby. So we need two nickel, or three nickel, probably three. I can't remember already because I'm kind of stupid. Yeah, good. It was definitely three. Uh, then I need to go grab one piece of metal savage, which I saw literally just over here. Yoink. Then I know I have lithium in a locker up here. Yeah, I don't know about Ruby yet. Uh, I'll probably have to go grab a couple from my prawn suit. Not prawn suit. Cyclops. Oh, I can't say anything today. I get my little vehicles mixed up and ugh, it's horrible. There we go. Plastic and get Not too bad. Right now we need to go get um, two rubies, which I believe should be in the Cyclops. Oh, that's good, the first one we've already got one. That's a really good sign. Okay, there's nothing down here, apart from that single piece that we've got. Let's hopefully be up here. Uh, there's just a battery in there, not good. Uh, and also not good, huh? Right then, these two lockers, hopefully. Oh wow, there's tons in here, look at this. Oh, perfect. Also, I'm gonna grab two magnetites, since I think I need that for 
the uh, depth module for the Seamoth. Also, 43% power. That's not bad, I guess. Uh, also, I'm going to quickly grab the depth, the second depth module from not that one, but this one. There we go. Boom. Since I can just use that to make the Seamoth depth module. Also, I need to build a storage room in here and um, actually put all my stuff in here because having to go back and forth between the Seamoth and the Prawn Suit, it's. Not see nothing in the prawn suit. Um, the sea base and the cyclops isn't very good. But that is the prawn suit mark one depth module. We'll have to take out a whole reinforcement, but I don't think they really do that much anyway. So boom, thirteen hundred meters. Jeez, dude. that's ridiculous. Huh? And also, uh, I could just for now put that whole reinforcement onto the sea moth. Uh, that. Since there is a spare slot in it for now, so for now it can just go into there. Very good. Now, what do we need for the Seamoth Mark II and then three? Because I can make all of them. Uh, so we have that's Mark One. We need the modification station. You. So we need a two pieces of magnetite, enamel, uh, enamel glass. Uh, and a plastic ingot. Uh, shouldn't be too bad actually, if you think about it. Hey, there we go, stalker tooth. Wow, we got two. Ooh, okay, okay. Looks like the odds are looking up for that then. Jeez. Uh, we're also just gonna rob all them as salvage back since you know I may or may not need that. Just quickly grab all that and head out. The stalkers gained absolutely nothing. Okay. Uh, I need some water because otherwise I'm gonna die. Yeah. Uh, I need glass or two quarts now. First of all, I'll make the plastic ingot. Was it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we need to turn a lot of this into titanium. There we go. Titanium ingot. That's a whole lot of renew. Or more inventory room now. So then we need to do and that's more titanium, but hey whatever. I'll probably need it at some point. Plastic ingot and an ammo glass. So that yeah that should definitely be that. Boom. That's mark two. What do we need mark three? Another another plastic ingot. And three ruby. Uh, I definitely have three ruby since I saw some more of it uh, elsewhere. Oh, wow, I have a lot of titanium. There we go. It was another titanium ingot just instantly. Boom. Then we need two from here, uh, like this. And uh, now we just need rubies. <laughs> there we go, there's two rubies. I also managed, or not managed, but also got uh, two extra full charge power cells in here. We should be looking at over half, or maybe even three quarters of this power on the Cyclops now. Uh, yeah, three over three quarters. Love to see it. Uh, so, two more power cells and we're at full charge. Which should be really nice, since it's been a very long time. Uh, since the Cyclops have been full charge, simple, because you know, always using it, always have been using it since for like you know bases and all that stuff. Uh, why can't I make it? I grabbed two ruby, not three. I'm dumb dumb. Okay, now I should be able to make it. There we go. Much better. Sea Sea Moth Depth Mark Three, which I believe is the max, actually. So that's really nice. Uh, what do I not need? Right, what I'm gonna do is quickly sleep. Very, very good. Crab squid and cuttlefish. Hey, I guess or didn't guess, but I got both right. Um, nice. Let's go have a look at these things. Come in here. We have the cuttlefish. Boom. To be honest, it looked kind of disgusting, but hey. Emotional connection between living creatures and its central component of psychological health. 
Uh, then we have crab squid. Uh, it's just down here. Very good. This is probably the easiest way to scan stuff. Sadly, you can't do this with Leviathans, otherwise, yeah. Uh, but instead, I'll have to literally use the stasis rifles just to get them. Crab squid. Uh. Ew, it's disgusting. But ooh, that's a pretty big threat level, actually. Jeez. Eh? Um, assessment neutralizes uh, electrical equipment. Light attracts its unwanted attention. That's actually good to know that light attracts its attention. Not bad. But then again, I always just I can always just you know have a quick like you know this is that that. But hey, hey, that's kind of the extreme. Uh, right. Put some of these guys on charge. Boom boom. What about over here? Do these batteries need charging? Uh, that one kind of does. We'll just put that on there then. Uh, oh, 16, right, okay. This one definitely does then. I'm gonna have a quick look and just replace all the batteries and everything then. Since, you know, this probably just be handy. Yeah, really, that's everything that would need to be done. So the rest of them can just go back in here. There we go, now the power's gonna be seriously drained. <laughs> Uh, actually, do both of these bioreactors active? Uh, they are. What are the uh, pretty low on acid mushrooms? You know, I'll quickly top both of those of them. Now, I want to head to the underwater islands biome again. This time in the Cyclops and with a prawn suit. With the grappling arm, actually. One sec, I want to make that. What do we need for it? I nearly completely forgot. Uh, I'm going all wrong directions. So... We have this. What do we need for the grapple arm? Advanced, oh geez. Uh, advanced wiring kit, benzene, five lithium, oh not lithium, five titanium, and then a piece of lithium. So benzene, lithium, and titanium are gonna be really easy. Uh, I need one more piece of silver. Uh, if I could get it from this. You've gotta be joking, that would've been so good, huh? All right, okay, let's quickly make the benzene. There we go. Let me put the wiring kit. So now we just need uh, two copper. <laughs> wow, it's so nice having that much copper. I could easily get more as well, but I just I only saw one down there when I first grabbed it. So yep, and then in here we have a piece of gold. I can now officially mass produce in advanced wiring kits. Well, not advanced wiring kits, but at least computer chips. So, boom. And basically, at the point I'm at now, this is the height of below zero. This is basically as far as you can go, really. Um, wait, I need the advanced computer wiring kit. I still haven't even made that yet. One sec. Wait, did I? Oh, yeah, you need two gold. Of course you do. Yeah. Uh, so... In there. And then... Boom. Nice. So, if we head back into the sea base, then I know there's a ton of lithium in one of the lockers. Uh, we can make storage, but that's not what I'm after. I'm after the grappling. Very nice. Now then, I want to do something. Let us, like I said, go to the underwater islands. Um, biome. Uh, also needs to put that depth mark 3 in as well. Uh, yeah, but I want to head to the underwater islands since I've just searched up, and the way the way so you get max silver is print like the floating islands, uh, underwater floating islands, the dunes, like the dune caves, you know, all that kind of stuff. Basically, where all the vitamins are. So I kind of just want to avoid um, running into any the vitamins if I can. Um, just because, well, that's just, I don't fancy, you know, getting attacked by, like, 16 Leviathans. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, yeah, I actually completely forgot. I need to, I want to customise the prawn suit. Of course I do. Actually, to be honest, that doesn't even look that bad. It looks kind of weird, but then also doesn't look bad. I don't know. I'll see how it goes, really. Uh, but, now, to the floating islands. Look at all these upgrades in the prawn suit now. Look at this. We. Uh, also, I need to um, also need to make sure that I don't go underneath the crush depth of my uh, Cyclops for the moment, since for now it can only go to 900 meters, even though my Sea Moth can go deeper. Yeah, that's um, mm, 
Yeah, pro probably not. Yeah. Uh -huh. Saying my Seamoth can go deeper than this entire ship, like, not great, is it? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, I have power cells now, some the two new power cells that can go in here. So we've got this one, which is 41. You replace that with 100, so we have a full 100 power cell row, and another one. Boom, 100% O power. Beautiful. Right. Engine powering up. By the looks of things now, time to head over to the floating island spine. But actually first, Engine I want to quickly up. check what the um, shield perimeter whatever thingy robber takes. Uh, okay, we'll just make that when we get back. Uh, it takes some fancy storing kit. Can't bother to get silver, but unless we're going all the way to the mountains, mountain islands by him. Since they're massive deposits of it there. Yeah, we're at the mountain islands by him now. Okay. Deactivate that sonar then, because it's ridiculous. It just goes through my power ridiculously fast. Um, so basically, what we need to do is just go down. Ooh. Oh, there's a blood kelp zone down here, huh? Or an engine you can go off. It's ampules. Oh. So, prone suit. This thing is ridiculously stacked now, so. This thing is stacked now, so. I'd say it doesn't do bad. Uh, I don't even know what that is. I can't pick it up now, though, because of what upgrades I have on this thing, but hey, eh. no exactly, oh these are like blood kelp islands, that's weird, eh? that is weird, eh? very weird, there's a lot of deep streams here though, not bad, eh? I'm going 1300 meters down now as well, I just remembered, uh, there's some lead, I don't need that, no. I'm after the uh, what's it called? Uh, silver, there we go. That's the right thing. Silver, huh? Uh, we could go down to that life pod. Uh, it's 500 meters. It's not exactly horrible, but... It's not exactly great. Uh, that's an affected one. Sound like that, man. Kind of annoying, but. Ooh. That's a drop off and a half. Eh? Right, we'll go down to where that life pod is then. Oh no, warpers. Seriously? You have to just follow me everywhere, don't you? This is a very big blood, blood kill mine, this is. Right. This life pod. Uh... Does it have a data box? It does. Right, we got any thing that wanted to kill me apart from this guy? Huh? No, it doesn't look like it. Wait, is that the Cyclops death? Oh, it was. Right, you know what, Warper? Huh? You are not getting away with teleporting me anymore. Come here. Huh? Wait, these things unkillable. Oh no, he's gone. Huh? Okay, I scared him off. Huh? That's why. He was so terrified, he ran. Huh? Alright, what have we got in there? We've got a PDO. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Bad? The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes, and we're 500 meters down. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. What are these things? Oh, they're like tall cave crawlers. Well, they're dead, so... Oh, that noise is just so weird. Huh? I really don't like that cave, so I'm out of here. Oh, wait, that's an architect. Huh? That's an architect thing. Huh? And they keep going down here. Huh? Yeah, there's an architect thing here. 
pretty weird, but I wonder if I can take the prawn soon. Eh? Oh wait, do we need a? Oh, we need a tablet. What tablet though? Probably purple, if I had to guess. Eh? You yeah, only purple. Hmm? Oh, okay, that's kind of annoying. I think there's just iron cubes in there. Huh? Um, so I'm not really that worried. I'll just have to like make a mental note of where this is. Like I do have purple tablets. I just think I'd probably save them for like the big places, like the big places that like progress the story and stuff. Because I feel that's just a small cache that doesn't really progress the story at all. Also, I need to swap around the. Um, grapple arm and the drill arm in slots because the drill the grapple arm and the jump they don't really work in the, the way they are now so I'm just gonna quickly go in this little crook here and see if I can fix it so we need the drill arm and then that there we go. That's a lot better. Uh, we should probably go back to the prawn soon now. Wait, is that a ghost? Oh, that is a ghost. Okay, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, right, I need to go. <laughs> Like now, <laughs> even the music's getting intense. Huh? How has that thing not spot me before when I was over here? Huh? Literally, I've never played this game before. I have no idea where any of the Leviathans are, apart from the Reapers. But that's about it. I don't know where any of the ghosts spawn. Huh? Wow. Okay. Just saying, this is future me here. Um, that ghost is dead. Trust me, it won't last very long. Jeez, the north of the map is crazy. Okay. Ugh, jeez, dude. Absolute craziness, like I said. Right, uh, Pastelinga in 3 Ruby. Can you shut it out there, please? Mm -hmm. Right, uh, first of all, I'm going to sleep just so it's not night. Because uh, uh, nobody likes night time. Nobody does. Uh, and I actually do. I just run into the ghost leviathans as well. Like what? I feel like I'm gonna run into way more ghost leviathans like I, than I will reapers. Like I already have, but like it's kind of ridiculous already. How many more ghosts I've run into than uh, the reapers? Because you just run into them significantly more um, than you do with any of the other ones. Um, I'm just checking. Uh, what do we? Do I have any titanium really? Because if I have ten, then I can make the depth module, which would be pretty good. <laughs> uh, so far, I have a single piece, which is very promising. Um, Hundred percent promising, and I only have a single piece. Great. Now I need to get out of here without having the cyclops being completely obliterated by everything. <laughs> um, how are we going to do that then? Actually, though, quickly, before we do head out of here, I want to activate the sonar quickly. And I want to have a look uh, down by the floating islands like I was before. So, we're like, we need to be like 200 meters down, like we kind of are now. Uh, and these main floating islands over here, where that wreck was previously, which I believe is that island down there. Because by the looks of things so far, it doesn't look like there's really a flaw to this place. Um, at all. I'm pretty wary about having like running into like a reaper now or something as a reef back. But we we're at two we're at two hundred meters. Right, you know what we'll disable the sonar since it's gonna completely drain my power. Um and we'll have a look on this island then with my prawn suit. By looks things there's absolutely no thing on this island. Um apart from a lot of bone sharks. Um I kind of want to find out what's deeper in this area. I'm tempted at this point now just to head into the 
Um, what's it called? Mm -hmm. uh, dunes, that's it. The dunes, just so I can get these silver deposits because really it's kind of annoying at this stage. Um, we're going to quickly activate the sonar since we're going slightly deeper now. So yeah. Good to know where the floor is on this place. If there even is a floor. Oh wait, no, there is a floor. Oh. Right, what well, what's the crush depth in this? Oh jeez, I probably wouldn't even make it. It doesn't look like there's Leviathans down here. Um It's just my power I'm pretty wary of them. Okay. Come on. 69 health. Nice. There's a lot of bone sharks down there, huh? So far, that's all I know. It's a geyser. I doubt there'd really be anything down here, to be honest. Like, ooh, silver. Here we go. This is what I came here for. Okay, right. I need to repair this thing now. This thing's at 50 health, and these bone sharks are relentless. There's way too many of them. Like ridiculous amount. It's it's just stupid, huh? They only do five damage as well, it's ridiculous. Right, we're gonna have to kill some of these. Oh my dudes, I can't you can't do anything. They just come and kill you. Right then. Jeez, dude. Like, oh my. There's an actual earthquake going on outside. What is going on? Oh my gosh. Oof. Our oh, guy do be dead, huh? But there we go. Not shield generator. Depth module. What I just uh, what am I doing anymore? All right, here we go. And what, what depth? 900. I thought it'd be a lot further than that, to be honest. Uh, I actually did think it would have been. Um, actually, speaking of the shield generator, though, uh, we'll let's have a quick test of it. Right, we also need to check how much power it actually uses, because um, if it uses a ridiculous amount in like just a couple seconds. Then that probably isn't good. So let's activate it. What power? Okay, so it hasn't gone down. Oh, jeez. Okay, so whenever you just first activate it, it minuses five power, and it just t ticks down. That's that's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, if you have enjoyed, and um, please subscribe, because why not? Uh, and in the next episode, I'll just die, I just don't even know. Uh, I need to do some stuff, like probably go into the Lost River with the Cyclops, maybe, I don't know, stuff like that. Maybe just go deeper, just generally. Um, also, what I quickly want to do is check if I have the, oh wow, that's a lot of momentum, but quickly check if, oh yeah, look, that's my drill mark. Two, I can make that, and mark three. Okay, that takes kind of. Right? Okay, that's not helpful, but I can make that. Hundred percent. So we'll do that at the start of the next episode then.